What's up, everyone? Welcome to Barstool Breakdown. Today is Sunday, November 19th, and we got a guest stoolie filling in for Jonathan today. You guys might know him from the Barstool YouTube chat. Says Ben, let's get it. It gets dirty as fuck. This is that? All right, welcome to Barstool Breakdown. I'm Frankie here with the fill-in for Jonathan. Ben, how we doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. Doing great. Uh, big win yesterday. I mean, tough news with Joey B, uh, but I was going to come through. I was going to make me a little bit happier, so. <laughs> All right, well, let's get right into it then. Let's do the Barstool Beast of the Week. All right, Ben, since you're the guest, I'm going to let you start. Who do you got this week? It's definitely not going to be who I have, I can tell you that. Uh, so my beast has to be PFT. I mean, he's on ESPN get, game day. Hell yeah. Uh, guest picker. I mean, it's, I don't know how ESPN lets that dude anywhere near a camera. Like him and Big Cat. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it, but I thought it was hilarious and I thought he killed it. I thought he did great. It was, I, I really don't watch, uh, ESPN game day, but I tuned Same. in this week just to watch PFT. Uh, I, I know he missed the kick. I blame the holder. I think the holder was actually Will Compton. But I think he did great. He was entertaining. Um, him and Pat McAfee mesh really well. So my my beast of the week goes to PFT for sure. He killed it this weekend. All right. Yeah, I got no gripes with PFT. That's a great uh, beast of the week there. I didn't even watch college game day. I literally just was watching the um, clips of him because it's just, I don't know. But my beast of the week not going to be your favorite will compton um he got i mean you got to give the guy credit he did the pantry walk took rigs for a walk to the pantry and uh basically just dog walked his ass um funny ass video five minute plus video that i was just engaged for the entire time so was the whole yak i think i watched it a second time on the yak so pretty good he was also on the yak he's going to be on the thanksgiving episode um, him and the Nikki smokes thing with the Oklahoma's. And he was like, yeah, just take a pass over the middle. I don't know this week. I was just dying. And it's funny that you happen to fill in for John this week, because I know that that's your, uh, favorite person in the world at this point now, but you used to hate him. Yeah, no. So Willie seed, my boy Compton, I, I do have him. I have him for my beef of the week, so I won't go in too much on that, but, um, Dude, he's a he is a beast. He's a beast. I feel bad for him. His team sucks. Everything about him sucks. And you know, I'm gonna tap in on that. I'm gonna talk my shit when I can, and we'll <laughs> we'll see where it goes. But no. I'm proud of you for not taking a PFT because PFT. I mean, he he really killed it on game day. But yeah, no, and that's the thing. I actually I try to do it where like I don't like to have unanimous things like last week i think we both had jerry as the beast of the week which was one of like the two or three times we've ever had unanimous i like to try to you know split it up but i felt like those are pretty two or two pretty good you know beasts right there you got will doing all the stuff i mentioned you got pft with the um espn appearance which is unbelievable no one ever probably would have thought that happened shouted out danny boy kane which was hilarious i don't know if you saw that even though he was yeah happy I but saw upset it. with it at the same time <laughs> So I didn't see the actual clip of PFT calling him out, but I saw Danny Boy Kane's uh, tweet and he's like, I yeah. would like for you to hit me up before you shout me at or something. And then uh, I don't know if yeah. you saw Dave, po Dave Portnoy's tweet where he's like, I would also appreciate this or something. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just an insane world. The, the Barstool world is just insane, man. I love it. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, but yeah, so, uh, those are two great beasts and, uh, let's just move right into the Barstool least of the week. Yeah, it was tough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. What do you got? Uh, my least of the week, it's, uh, coach Cotter. 
Billy football. You go to Uganda, <laughs> you talk all this shit, and you fuck you play in the game and you fucking lose. You lose, Coach Cotter. Now I will say this: I'm a huge Billy football fan. I love Billy football. I miss him on PMT. I love the guy. Same. But you can't talk shit like that. Go to fucking Uganda and then lose 14 to zero. Now, I understand there was some refing issues. There was, you know, they didn't quite understand the first down. I've heard all of it. I'm a I'm a Billy football guy. I'm, I tried to buy into the Billy football stock market. No, not this week. Billy football, you fucking suck. You let down Uganda. You let down America. And you let down the sport of American football. You fucking suck, Billy. Coach Carter, you can fucking suck my ass. Billy football, you fucking suck. You let us all down. That's my least of the week. All right. And I'll 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 take that. That got a lot. You went like very like light and then got like all the way to sucking your ass. So I just love having you I mean, he did is, suck my he let a- us all down. He let us all down. Everybody, every AWL, Which, again, every story at first, wanted Billy to succeed. He played he played quarterback. He played on the defense and they lost 14 to 0. Are you kidding me? Lisa the Okay, week. and I will Fuck say yourself, So I'm with you. I'm with you on that. I'll give it to you. Even though I will say he had a broken foot, but when you're playing against people that probably don't know what football is and you are named Billy football, you got to win that game. You're right. Which I really hope they go back December 14th or whatever it is and they get their their revenge. But we'll see if that ends up happening. Yeah. Um, they play in uh, Nairobi, right? Ni- well, Nigeria. Uh, I, I, but something like that, yeah. They play them again. Like Kenya's and- home this time, right? I will. I yeah, Kenya is the home team. I did see that um, Wonton Don tweeted at I think it was one of the Kenyan guys and was like, "We would love to come back, even if it's even if we coach like on the phone or something." Like, I don't think he really wanted to come back. Billy Football did talk right. about it on uh, Macro Dosing, and he said he wanted to go back, and he actually tried to get Arian Foster to go back, which I think it's a disservice. Yeah. They didn't they didn't let Arian Foster come the first time. I don't know if he wanted to come or if he didn't. You let Arian Foster come. I and imagine you let not. Aaron Fo- you you, yeah. you put – Arian Foster's putting 1,200 yards on the fucking Kenyan team. I mean, it's just – I mean, it, Aaron Foster – Yeah, we would have seen we would have seen that him. quite a bit if he was on yeah. that team. <laughs> and imagine the clicks, um, the views Arian Foster would have gotten from that. Massive. Oh yeah, massive would have been big for me. He probably would have got a lot of hate though too. That's the thing. Speaking on the hate, all the people that are hating on Billy football for playing, the Ugandans asked him to play. They wanted him to play. They wanted the yep. attention. They wanted him to play. So don't don't hate on. You can hate on Billy football for fucking sucking. He sucks. He's terrible. He'll never be good at football, even though his name's Billy football. But do not hate on him for playing in that game because they he was asked to play in that game and it's good that he does play in the game with a broken foot to the sport with a broken foot yeah but it brings attention to the sport it's a good thing all around but he's he's still my least of the week he sucks he he doesn't know how to throw the ball and i will take him iowa will take him we will we will sign william (laughs) cotter to the fucking roster right now All right, well, I'll move over to mine. It was Meek Phil. Um, he got clowned on radio for the matching like jumpsuit outfit that he had. It wasn't even a jumpsuit. It was like a like a Costco like hoodie and sweatpants set. I think it, it was just like very basic. It wasn't even that big of a deal, but they just were clowning him. Uh, um, and then he ended up getting that pinwheel hat for like it was the goofiest move was wearing a pinwheel hat and then they all said meek phil wearing it so then they ordered one that had his name on it so he had to wear that on camera so that was pretty uh goof and then to make him the actual least for me he beat clemmer in basketball but i still think he took the l in that game i don't know if you watched that video or if you saw stool scenes but he was basically throwing up multiple times laying all over the floor and um it looked like Clemmer was going to win, but then I don't know what happened. I guess his paper body couldn't keep up with an actual human being hitting against him. But yeah, it's Meek Phil, even though he's the man and he's uh, a grinder. 
my God, that was a rough look on stool scenes. Yeah, I actually, I didn't, I didn't see that, but <laughs> if clever bodies, bodies, you, I mean, it's just like life is over. There, there's nothing to live for anymore after that. Um, yeah, well, that's the thing. He was bodying Clemmer in the game, but Clemmer had more endurance, like by a mile. Like Meek Phil was, on, they were on like point like four or seven or whatever, and he was just on the floor, like covering his face. Then he was at the garbage can throwing up. Like it was just crazy, man. It was like <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'll I'll always ride for Meek but, Phil, man. He's 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 a funny little dude. Same. I'll always yeah, he's a Mets him. fan too, so it always makes me laugh. So yeah, but I'll write. Anyway. I'll write for Clemmer too. I mean, he's literally a fucking walking bookmark. Like he is a bookmark. At yeah. Barstool store, they would Lumbie. be billionaires right now if they sold Clemmer bookmarks. Just have a picture of Clemmer, make make the <laughs> bookmark like ten feet tall, and just sell it. It it will sell, but. Yeah, that, that, that's crazy. So we'll tag the store for this one. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's move now to the Barstool Beef of the Week. Oh, fuck you! Well, fuck you, too! Oh, my God! What? Right All right, I'm going to let you go again because I think you had the same one that I had, but I have a backup, thankfully, as well. Well, my, my beef of the week was obviously Willie C and Riggs. That's why I didn't want to jump in too much on it when yeah. you were talking about beefs of the week. Uh, I mean, I, I it sucks. It pains me to admit this, but Will Compton is 100,000% right. Will Compton absolutely bodied Riggs. That beef, I mean, like, let's think about it. So they start arguing about, uh golf merch and stuff what is golf merch it's polos and shit i wear i have to wear a polo to work every day i buy so much barstool golf merch but it's not because it's just the golf merch it has nothing to do with rigs or you know trent's my guy he's an iowa guy i love him it it's 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 just nice shirts it's nice quality products and stuff and there's no reason for rigs to get all butthurt about fucking other uh you know, like bussing or part of my tag or anybody, you know, trying to hop in. It's a team game. Willie is right. It is a team game. You're trying to sell shirts. You're trying to sell merch. I respect it. Willie is 100% right, but I think the beef was hilarious. I love seeing Willie C get bodied. I love it. And I don't know. It's just I, I think – Mr. Compton was right. Very, very rare. Very rare. Will Will Compton is ever right. And yeah, he was he was right about that. But that's my beef of the week, 100 percent No, that was a good one. That's that, like I said, that's who I had as well. I'm gonna change it up because I had a backup, but just to like go on that for a second, I will say I a thousand percent think Will was right. I said it on um <clears throat> Stooley Wednesday. I'll say it here. There's no way that Riggs can't feel some type of way like, oh, I started this thing, whatever. And he used to get shit on by Dave and whatever. But I forget who said it in the chat a couple of times getting shit on by Dave during rundowns and stuff to have a brand that's literally like with the PGA tour, like being sold at the PGA PGA like events and stuff like all their merch, like they're fine. And that's kind of what I think is the weird part. Um unless like Riggs actually thinks like he might be replaced with somebody else. And like, cause four plays barstool, not just his thing. Um, I just really don't understand it, honestly, because like you got the spit and chicklets guys, you got PMT, you got bussin, you got uh, the scumbag golf. Like the, I mean, every, like there's so many different avenues of barstool that are doing golf stuff. So like, I don't know. I guess I understand like you want to do the collab stuff, whatever, but it looked like Will was actually trying to do that. Um, and I think the I think that beef would have been actually pretty cool. What Will said about, oh, we'll say we're the only people doing it, that was lame, I will say, but I think they could have had a good beef, kind of like what's happening right now. So that's why it almost makes me feel like it's not real. But after hearing Will and then after hearing Riggs talk, they it was clearly re uh, real. And uh, Will continued it on the yak, which was I thought it was over. And then when Will kept saying stuff on the act, I was like, Ooh, this is not fully dead. So yeah, I will say that is a great beast or a beef of the week. I think what Riggs did was a little bit ridiculous. Well, Riggs, Riggs said it best. 
Yeah, and he said it best, dude. He was like, our biggest videos are the ones where we collab with people. And like that's what I want to see. I watch the videos of Tommy golfing. I watch the video of Jerry and Kirk and you know those guys. I don't watch any other foreplay videos or listen to the pod because I'm not a golfer. So I mean, I think them collabing with the boys would be great. You know, having those two out there and put them in the thing. And it's funny as hell to me too because you got Frankie on the dozen rocking the Barstool Golf's hat and on radio, which is not foreplay. That's Barstool Golf. You know what I mean? So like that's separate as well. So I don't know. It's just the whole. And, and if you look situation. back, if you look back on this year, the the Ryder Cup was so much fun. I mean, every video was a banger. Amazing. And they they brought in people that don't just focus on golf. They brought in people like Portnoy was electric, Big Cat was electric, everybody. Arian Foster, MVP of yeah. the Ryder Cup, just so electric, and it, it brings in people that I I, I love golf. And so I'll, I will always watch golf content, but there's, I know there's other stoolies that, you know, aren't big golf people and stuff like this is what brings them in. And if anything, and honestly, I think it helps for play because they're going to sell more merch because it's just good quality stuff. Agreed. And no, I agree hundred percent. And it brings, it brought, as like much, it brought as, me in. Yeah. And as much as I hate Will Compton and I try to hate him so much every day I wake up and I just want to hate Will Compton. I can't hate him on this. I, I can't hate him. I think he's hundred yeah. percent correct. And I'm, I'm happy for him. Well, it's good to hear. I'm, I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad that things have been getting better between you two. Um, and like I said, that was my beef as well, but I'm going to just put my backup beef in there because it is something. Um, but Jerry versus Rico. That's becoming a thing and that's becoming a real thing. Um, you know, Rico pulling out the, oh yeah, you know, when someone's late, you know, last week, you know, whatever. And Dave's like, what are you talking about? And he's like, he's talking about, he's talking about Jerry. And he's like, oh, right, right, right. And Jerry talking about the, you know, old pup and the young pup and the this and the that. I mean, that's, uh, you know, Jerry's been my guy since he started. Uh, he was always in Stooley Wednesday. He used to answer my DMs. Now he's too big. Um, but Rico's been my guy since the whole, uh, I guess it was, I'm trying to think if it was the, like the anger management times or what it was. But I remember at one point I, uh, I DM'd him and said something, he didn't answer. And then I DM'd him something else and he like liked it. And then when I went to the dozen, uh, I was taking pictures and he like pointed at me and cause I was like chanting Rico or whatever I said. And he looked pointed at me and he gave me like thumbs up, like, like you, I can use you for a lifeline. And I, I gave him the thumbs up back. And then I went, wait, like, no, what the fuck? And then later I saw him out uh, at the bar and he goes, he goes, yo, why wouldn't you help me? Whatever. I was like, dude, I didn't want to get it wrong, to be honest with you. It wasn't that I didn't want to help you. I just didn't want to get it wrong because I don't know shit, man. Like I was drunk and shit. So, um, you know, it's tough when I see two of my guys, Rico and Jerry, that are clearly having uh, like one of those like it's like a micro beef that I feel like at any moment could be like the big bang and just. Poof. Yeah, no, I respect that backup. Cause that's yeah. The thing about the thing about Rico, it's like, he's, he's such a powder keg. It's like, you don't know how he's going to feel one day to the next. And if you get on his bad side on that, those days where you don't know if he's upset or not, he will explode on you. And that's why I like him. I like him. He's unpredictable. Yeah. You, well, he you reminds me of you, kind of. Yeah, he's very unpredictable. I love it. <laughs> I fucking love Rico. But I love it. All right. Well, let's move on to our final segment then, the comment of the week. Vacation mode. Kind. <laughs> Flying right now. Let's go. All right. Last segment. What do you got? Comment of the week. I actually didn't come prepared with this. I did, but I'll tell you this. FSU Brando. FSU Brando. He's the, is he's the number one comment guy on here. He is the number one comment guy, not only on Twitter, but in my heart. FSU Brando, I fucking love you. You are my favorite human in this world, and everything you say is truth. I'm sorry about Jordan Travis. That sucks. You are my favorite person. So anything FSU Brando has said in the past four years, that's my comment of the week. 
Very good. Well, you've used a couple of them then because he's had it. He's had it on here a couple times. Uh, so my comment of the week, it was Chief replying to Nikki Smokes when Nikki Smokes said he really wanted to do an Oklahoma drill with Will Compton. Chief just replied and said, you must already have CTE or something like that. So I thought that was an that, excellent reply. Um, that was pretty funny. sure he ratioed him with that, too. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It was pretty good. Um, I will say <laughs> as much as like the hate that Nikki smokes has been getting and stuff, dude, I feel like, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like his stock has been on the rise, like big time. Like the fact that Donnie texted him saying, what are you doing today? Even though it was like a little tweet that was like making fun of him. Cause he doesn't know math. He doesn't know you know how to spell or whatever. The fact that Donnie's texting him kind of makes you see like, he's kind of one of the, one of the boys. So, um, I know Sam's not going to be happy. So I'm sorry, Sam, but <laughs> <laughs> the thing about Nikki smokes is he's, very easily to dislike. I mean, he got a job off of fucking – that was the Miami Heat versus the Celtics game. Like, it's easy to hate him. He's entertaining. He's fun. I mean, he's – you in a fraternity, so you understand this like I do. When I was in a fraternity, it's like you always have those one or two kids that are just absolute idiots, but they are yeah. so fun to be around. They're good people, but they are fucking idiots. And – that's kind of Nikki smokes. He's kind of like that frat boy, just, you know, dumb sack smoke weed type guy, but I, <laughs> it's great. I love him. Um, would he win in an Oklahoma drill against Will Compton? First of all, Will Compton is small. He's not a big guy. He sucks. Will Compton would murder him. Will Compton played in the NFL. Will Compton <laughs> yeah. is a top tier athlete. Unfortunately, Will Compton would murder him murder yeah no doubt no Murder. doubt well i appreciate you coming on ben that's all we got for today so unless you got anything else we'll sign it off yeah there. fuck will compton fuck will compton billy football uh learn iowa hawkeye you're gonna have to speak it soon so that's it all right viva yep yep viva thanks man cool